Hollywood is always hot and the red carpet is always juicy and we always get tasty features here on Sojanel TV. But you know what's hotter, juicier, tastier than ever before? McDonald's classic burgers are hotter, juicier, and tastier than ever before. These are McDonald's best burgers ever. Includes Big Mac, Cheeseburger, Double and Triple Cheeseburger, and McDouble. Get them before Hamburglar does at a participating McDonald's near you. What brings you here to the Beverly Hills Film Festival? I drove myself. How? <laughs> I'm wearing heels already. <laughs> How special <laughs> How special is it walking on the red carpet of the Beverly Hills Film Festival? Well, it's fun. It's fun to meet you. Oh, this is so wonderful to be here at the Beverly Beverly Hills Film Festival. It's been absolutely great so far. I'm seeing a beautiful side of Los Angeles. From the hospital, the good doctor, to the red carpet of the Beverly Hills um, Film Festival. What are you looking forward to the most from tonight? Popcorn. Adam, uh, festival director, there is one Filipino film that made it. That's why we're here, When We Danced. Tell me, what's the criteria? What do you look for when you accept and line up these films for the Beverly Hills Film Festival? Yeah, it, it really is a wide spectrum of criteria that we look for. I think, you know, it, a lot of these films are driven by the passion, which translates into the purpose. So it could be the color, the story, the music, the acting itself. Um, but all of those elements together com combined cultivate all these passion projects. And so it's really, you know, a team effort on their behalf as well as ours for the criteria to, to, to come to fruition. And that speaks to the inclusion and diversity in Hollywood that has changed also through the years. Absolutely, absolutely. The strides we're making, the steps we're taking forward, the inclusion, so a lot of good things ahead. So it's great to be back here in the spectacle of the TCL Chinese Theater, so I'm glad to be, uh, I think we're the only Filipino film here. And on the red carpet of the Beverly Hills Film Festival opening night, did you, how, did, how difficult was it to get here? What was the journey like? You know, the hardest thing was actually making the film. Um, because I wanted to use Filipino actors, Filipino crew, trying to find the right cast to use and to nurture was a journey. Also shooting it during COVID was also really challenging. That was a journey trying to figure out when the right time to do it was after COVID subsided and now um, it all paid off. And you know what I find fascinating about your story, which you wrote, is that for most of the movie, there was no dialogue. It, I find that so amazing. Thank you. Yeah, the hardest thing to do is um, show, don't tell. But Darian was such a great scene partner, and so it was really, really fun to just use my facial expressions and our body language as well. Sure. And, and dance is a big part of it, too. So movement was important in it. And then what Ryan wrote was super, like, it was easy to have that intention and, and play that. It was, and Anthony kind of, storyboarded it all out so we kind of knew what we were doing so and the, and the story was beautiful and it's something that we want to tell about our people and it, it has a lot of grounded things that we want to tell. so in a lot of ways it's very similar to the stuff i want to do as an artist but in that way that it was ryan's first thing it was just wonderful to be a part of you know what i mean yeah it's it's a whole nother level than just uh background music the music has to be able to take the foreground dance with the actors move with the actors and tell a story for minutes on end without the actors saying anything so the music is a huge part of the process here i play michael the grandson i I'm learning this this lesson from my grandfather who was a dancer and how that generational shift between the two of us um, kind of um, becomes a part of our relationship throughout the film. So in the beginning, I was uh, doing the costume designs, so art direction, storyboards. So I did a lot of work on that and just um, bringing the Ryan's vision to life, right? Um, but the story is, is the one that really captivated me. And being here on the red carpet opening night of the Beverly Hills Film Festival, what's that like? I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is my the, my first red carpet. Um, 
I didn't know what to expect, but um, having people that I recognize and know sure. here. Uh, and it's good to see Filipinos here too. Yeah, so it's, absolutely. It's to support yeah. us and to hype us up. <laughs> that's always really nice. I'm just excited that we're able to get, you know, Ryan's story into people so people can watch it, you know, because I think it's a it's a great story to tell and hopefully people will think it's pretty emotional. I'm looking forward to actually watching it in a big theater um, together with all these other wonderful filmmakers and uh, to see how the audience responds to it.